Now look how long it takes for you to save. To be honest, I think the saving in like a um, generation four, I believe, is the worst. It was, the DS it was games. Long. Yeah, it was a lot longer. Yeah. I'm doing a Nuzlocke actually for myself in Soul Silver right now. I'm so pissed off because I really love for it, and I was in the grass and I was like, I want my first encounter to be for it because I love for it so much. And I saw it and I used one tackle and it died. Yep, and that's was, usually how it goes. Anyway, here's a ratatat. It looks like a yeah, rat. Yeah, ratata. Oh, it's so cute. And it's deadly if you know how to use it properly. Yeah, in, in this game, I think ratatat is the milk tank. Uh, no, rat, no rat, not really. Uh, rat, sort of. Rat, Raticate is, like, pretty much everywhere, and it's a little tankier. But so yeah. it's, it sort of is. I have to admit, I love milk tank, to be honest. I, I go oh, I do, t I do too. I love milk tank. I just don't like Whitney's milk tank. Hey, you so, want to have a Pokemon battle with my Miltank? It's literally named Whitney. Oh my god, you didn't. Yes. Wow. I hate people that much. <laughs> I am that much of a troll, just like a uh, you, appar doctor. Apparently you hate Whitney that much because you basically just called her a cow. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, I said I liked her Miltank spread. I didn't mean I liked her. She's a dick. She is. And here, this is probably one of the first okay. Pokemons with the hey biggest guys. difference. Yeah, look at this. That's a pigeon and totally not a chicken, right? That's totally yeah. not a chicken. That is not definitely a, a Pidgey. Clearly a Pidgey. The, the, the best thing, I mean, look at Bulbasaur's back sprite. Look at that eye. Yeah, that eye just looks so kawaii. Those eyes. They're just so magical. Oh, here's another thing. Gust. Gust is a normal character. attack on this game. Yep. And guess when Pidgey learns its first flying type attack? Way later. Way later. Extremely later. Like, you're going to ask yourself why you even bothered catching one of these later. Which is how I felt during my Nuzlocke tryout of Pokemon Blue. Yep. So because we're not even gonna we're not even gonna bother with Pidgeys I'm like, you right now. Like to be honest, you will probably get the fly HM before it learns its before it learns its own move. Um, a, a little before then, yeah. Yeah. But around no, I mean I literally got to sell it on City before getting uh. Up that guy. I am. Yeah. But I was actually um the furthest I got to that in that Nuzlocke was a uh, sell it on City. And my Pidgey still never learned a flying attack. So, um, yeah. Pidgey's a piece of shit. Yeah. In this game. I mean, it's I mean, great not, later not on, anymore. but just... Yeah. But but for now, it's it's stupid. You can get a Fearow, which has a higher attack stat, and has Peck right off the bat. Yep. So Like, literally a route over, so it's not even worth it. Um, but I've played like a lot of yellow, so I'm kind. Of, my I my memory of where things are in the game is, is slightly warped. Um, I agree. I played yellow a lot more than I did all these, and uh, I'll go ahead and just talk about that a little bit. Pokemon Yellow is when you actually get a Pikachu instead of the original starters. It's basically Ash's story. Yeah, but it's basically it's Ash's stories. You do actually fight Jesse and James later on in the game. Yeah, and Yoth so, is and there. And, and there's, like, a few other little differences. Like, you can eventually get all three of the starter Pokemon. Yeah. You can actually get um, two of the starter Pokemon right in the Cerulean City. Yep. Because uh, Bulbasaur is in one of the houses in Cerulean City. And um, he's being taken care of. And you have to have high friendship with your Pikachu yep. to get it. Yeah, like Pikachu, that, yeah, that was a new element added just from Pokemon Yellow. Okay, uh, I, here's why I love Pokemon Yellow. You get to follow Pikachu, or Pikachu gets to follow you, and then you can make it love you. Like, like when you start off, it hates you, and it's like, Pikachu! And it Pikachu. electrocutes you sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it will try to electrocute you. But then, if you battle with it, and, you know, follow it around, and don't put it in the PC box, it'll love you, and you'll get a bunch of hearts, and it'll be so happy to see you all the time. And you'll be like, yeah, it's Pikachu, it's my buddy. So um, there's actually a glitch in Pokemon Yellow as well, where if you have Pikachu at full HP mm -hmm. and keep spamming potions, his friendship will go super, super high up. It'll, oh, it'll really? Go back, yeah, it'll go back down after a bit, but it'll still be really high up there. Because you keep using, because the, the game registers it as you using items. 
So even though you're not wasting it, you're technically using an item on your Pokemon, which increases happiness. Look at these water effects. So nice. So nice. So, so spice. So nice. Ten ten. IGN. Ten. Yeah. Too much <laughs> oh man. I, I kind of miss this. It, it also, I also want to address this. Um, we don't have sound on this game because it was messing up our recording, um, which kind of sucks because, uh, you know, it was really simplistic and it was made all from the system itself, which right. I love. Um, and, you know, I feel like you guys are kind of missing out. So maybe we'll find, like, a video that has little sound clips from all the other, like, from all the areas. And, you know, we'll, we'll link you to that or... Or, you know, we'll maybe put something I'm, I'm in. I'm sure there's, like, uh, Pokemon music playlists and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. Nurse Joy. So her name's actually not Nurse Joy in this game. In this game, yeah, she's a totally different person. But She got her name from the anime. Yes. But uh, she doesn't have, like, her little curly hair or anything like this on this game. Her hair's perfectly straight and she wears a black uniform. Yeah, because she's not in her story. She's mm -hmm. just the one who works at the center. So this was a cool spot on the other side here. You could, like, trade with friends. But um, only if you had a cable and two yeah. games. So I'll, I'll sort of go over this. Um, so you needed either uh, a cable and a friend or a cable and two games. <laughs> um, uh, well, if you go into someone's PC, by the way, you can... That, that's just the PC. Like, yeah, I was just uh, showing it off a little bit, honestly. Um, so the way it would work is you could trade and battle your friends in that area, and, but it was super, super glitchy. So I didn't have anybody who wanted to play with me, so I didn't get to use it much. But apparently, you had to stay so fucking still with that cord, otherwise it would disconnect. And um, my, my family friend often complains about how people... Would uh, there was this one other kid who was a dick and had Pokemon and they would trade and stuff. And if he didn't like anything or he changed his mind after a trade, he would just unplug the cord. In wow. The middle. Yeah, and so that is that is awful. Yeah, I had my cousins, which I traded for a little bit, and then they, uh, it was mainly for battling with them. And then one of them would get really aggravated every time he lost. So. I eventually just got two Game Boys of my own in a cable and just traded amongst myself. Yep. Oh, you could also trade, you could put your Pokemon on uh, the Pokemon Stadium games for the Nintendo 64. Could and you? I, I was thinking of that. Uh, so I remember using that a lot too. Ooh. No, I never had a 64 or a Pokemon Stadium. I have both of them. <laughs> Maybe we should do that one day. Uh, that'll, that'll be something. I have never actually, I've gotten to the end on the original Pokemon Stadium, like through the main, there's like a little story mode where you go through all the gyms and Team Rocket and eventually get to Mew, but that's the only version that I've gotten through. I've never <laughs> actually gotten through like the, the Coliseum battles or arenas and stuff. But it's all battling, right? Yeah. Well, no, there is... You could put you could put some extra Pokemon on there, sort of like the Pokemon Bank, where you could just oh. have like an area to store, and sure. then it also had like these little mini games based around Pokemon. So I remember in the original game there was like a few games that I liked. There was a Ratatat race. Uh, oh. There was one where you play as a Sand Shrew and you dug around. Well, yeah, yeah, I've seen uh, clips of those mini games. Mm -hmm. uh, there was one where it was basically your Magikarp splashing around. And basically um, you had to get the highest splash. Alright then. Uh, my favorite one, though, was probably the Licking Tongue Sushi Go Round. Where you basically had to eat as much sushi as possible. But if you eat a certain kind, you were, your mouth would catch on fire. And you'd be forced to run around in a bunch of different directions. I love that game to death. Sorry. Yep, basically the wasabi. Wasabi. I got to read all that person's notes before she actually stopped me. Anyway. Yeah, she um, isn't paying very good attention. In Coliseum 
not Coliseum. I keep calling them Coliseum, but stadium games. Um, in the stadium game, the second one, there was actually a mystery gift option that could connect to your gold, silver, and crystal games. Really? And that, mm hmm And you really? could actually get, Tell like, you could get dolls and stuff from it. Oh, like, for your room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody's all like, oh, Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire had secret bases you could customize, like, a room for yourself. Um, that started in gold and silver, sweetie. Yeah. And not only that, you could actually see the room in 3D on the Pokemon Stadium. So, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That was, like, super duper awesome. There was also, like, a uh, classroom setup, so it basically would teach you, like, all the different mechanics and have you play, like, through specific battles, testing them out, like... Uh, learning about the difference between physical attacks and uh, special attacks. Um, mm. How moves can counteract against each other. And uh, stuff like that. So, so right now, we don't have any Pokemon with us. We can buy Pokeballs at the Mart. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. He hasn't had his coffee yet. His coffee. Mm-hmm. Right. Sure. He's totally That's not drunk. Mm-hmm. You can't go through here. This is private property. Um, I actually think this is a pretty funny joke, to be honest. Because yeah. in, in Japan, the girl says, oh, I'm sorry, he's passed out drunk or something like that. Yeah. Um, but coffee used to be used as a means of sobering up. Oh, really? I didn't know that. See, I don't know anything about booze or anything like that, so. <laughs> me, me neither. So, like, as a kid, you know, that seems, oh, he's cranky because he doesn't have coffee because... 90% of moms and dads drink coffee out there, you know? Right. Um, but when you're older, you can kind of go, hmm, maybe, you know, maybe that's a reference of him trying to sober up anyways. Because you could, you could technically say, well, he's had his coffee, so he's sobered up a bit. True, true. I remember being, so when I first saw that gym up there, that was, like, super amazing. I was like, oh, wow, I'm already right here ready to find a new gym. And then, uh, turns out it's not the case, but we're going to have to come back here anyway. Because we mm. got a letter to the professor. I've just been too lazy to go to it. Also, wee jumping. Yep. Those are ledges. Mm-hmm. It's too bad we can't get, what are some Pokemon from this route you'd want? Would you like a Pidgey? Um, yeah, probably. To be honest, I'll probably be getting, like, a bunch of different Pokemon until, like, just to start out with. And then um, I'll be focusing on specific ones. I think it's good to focus right from the beginning. You think so? Yeah, because we're going to waste a lot of time then trying to raise up levels of Pokemon we don't care about. Hmm, true. Now, if I'm correct, you should get Kakuna in Pokemon Red? And Butterfree and Pokemon Blue? I think you can actually get them in both, but the chances are higher for uh, Kakuna in this version. Mm. Because I have captured both of them in each version before, so... Yeah, I'm starting to think that as well. I'm just going to skip over this, because... What you doing? Oh, me? Yeah, I heard like a little crinkling noise. Oh, I threw a wrapper away from the pastry I was eating. Oh, okay. Is that okay with you, Chris? Is that fucking all right with Well, you? I figured somebody as professional a Pokemon trainer as you would probably have, I can you know. do what I want. <laughs> I've defeated every league, got every gym badge. You know, I'm the best. The best like no one ever was, okay? Don't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. Uh, no, I'm clearly not. Anyway, we delivered that parcel. We never find out what's in the parcel. I was it's actually custom, like... It's a custom Pokeball. This uh, is the custom Pokeball I'm I I am an idiot, so if I just yes. paid attention, this Crap! is why... I'm going to do his voice. There might be a bit of lag between me and you for the okay. screen. What did you call me for, bro? All right. I have a request for you two. No, I don't really want to do voices. I don't have to. Um, but oh, yeah. this there is my invasion. The Pokedex. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you trying nice to do? Don't you think super super refined and noble? Records they hit on in a Pokemon you've seen or caught. As a Kentuckian, I am very insulted <laughs> by your accent. Well, all right, you give him an accent then. Give him a Canadian accent, eh? Chris and Windu, eh? Take these with you. 
Chris got the Pokedex from Professor Oak. Do, 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 Yeah. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. Why is he now a Southern Belle? I don't know. Okay. That was my dream! <laughs> But, but I'm, I'm too, too old. old. I can't do it no more. <laughs> so I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. <laughs> Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking of Pokemon history. Turns out Professor Oak's a drug queen. Oh, right, Gramps, leave it to me. <laughs> All to me. 